Hey everyone, this is uh, Ram here. I'm the developer of Presentify app. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to get the Presentify app and how to start uh, using it. So first up, you can open your favorite browser, Safari or Chrome or Brave or whichever browser you prefer. And then you can simply Google Presentify app can click on any of the links here the first or the second or the links below should work too or it should be taking to this website anyway and uh, then you can see here two buttons there one is the download on the Mac App Store the other is the set app button so you can click either one of them so if you click on the first one you will be taken to the Apple App Store so uh, let me click on that button. So this is the App Store website and it directs me to the Mac App Store. So as I have the app already installed, I see a open blue open button. But if you don't have the app installed, you'll see a green install button instead. So once you install it, you'll see this open button. So this is first way of installing. Uh, so now if I click on open, I see an icon here, the Presentify. I'll close it now and close this as well and uh, go back. So now coming to the second option, which is set, set app. So this is kind of a Netflix, but for apps, uh, what I mean by that is you pay a monthly subscription fee and you have access to all the apps on the uh, Setapp App Store. So it's uh, like $9 or something. You can check the price on the on their website. So let me click there. So here, yeah. so it's $9.99. And they also offer a free trial. So if you want to try a Presentify before buying, so you can go with this option. Or you can go ahead with uh, purchasing on the Mac App Store. And if you're not satisfied for any reason, you can get full refund and uh, let me show you the fact page so there are a couple of questions here the frequently asked questions but there's a fact page here this link or this link both works so if i click there i go to the fact the frequently asked questions so under the trial version there's a link here which you can click and ask for a refund or you can get the full refund no questions asked so that's the way to get the app. Now let me open the app store again and show you how do you get updates. So yeah, this is the Presentify app, but uh, the updates is here. So right now there are no updates for Presentify. I have the latest version, but if there is one, you'll see it here and you can press the update button here or you can press update all or you can enable automatic updates and you'll get the updates automatically you don't have to do anything else now so, uh, this is how you get the app the two ways i showed now let's after installing let's go to the next step what the next step is uh, to click on the launch pad and uh, here you will see the icon there so here I see the Presentify icon, you can click and the app starts. So as this is a menu bar icon, menu bar uh, uh, menu bar app, it doesn't have a window. So when you start the app, you won't see a window. So that's confusing or for some users, but there's an icon here. So you can click on the uh, menu bar icon at the top and then start using the app by clicking here. So let's say I want to annotate something, I can click that icon there at the top and start annotating the second way to start using the app is through the key shortcut so if here if you see this is symbol control and a so i can press control a and start the app so this is the second way you don't need to click on the menu bar icon in this way and you can press question mark or slash key to see all the key shortcuts in the app these are these are quite um, handy uh, so 
and uh, there's another thing which I want to show control s so if I press control s I can use the cursor highlight I can press control s again the cursor highlight goes so there's a small bug here the key shortcut isn't shown but it works the key shortcut works for highlight cursor cursor as in the mouse the pointer mouse pointer so that works but it's not shown here uh, but you can change all of the key shortcuts under preferences and under keyboard so you can click here and change it to whatever you want these three so that's that and let's say after using the app if you have any questions you can go to the help section go to the fact page or go to the support or go to the uh, videos watch videos on youtube which uh, shows a couple of features how to use them and all that so you can head there or there's a social section here if none of the help section works or uh, none of the fact questions answers your questions then you go to the social and then drop a tweet on twitter or ask your questions on the present if I subreddit so yep and the last uh, thing would be the writer review so I would really appreciate if you write a review on the Mac App Store if you if the, if you feel the app has helped you in any way that would be really appreciated all right then that's that's about it see you in the next one Bye-bye.